Call me Master Zang cause I'm a flippy bass Ah, you see your title, man. No skin type. Skin too. Look, I'm going to be the one to say it. Just because you have one good conversation with your homies, that does not mean that you need to start a podcast. I'm not going to lie, bro. In 2024, it doesn't matter no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here watching. Yeah, here just watching everybody's goofy air podcast. Or like, y'all just giving a platform to everybody at this point, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna make myself a meme and then I make a podcast about that shit. I'm tired of dudes talking about aliens once, then thinking that they have the right to buy a sure SM7B from Best Buy. Now they got a podcast called Alien Talks that's just uninteresting and dry. The host <laughs> sucks, the friends suck, and even the podcast name sucks. You're not the next Joe Rogan, bro. Put the mic down and put the fries in the bag. Someone's gotta say it. Remember that one relative that told you that you weren't making it to the NBA when you were like five years old? Just think of me as that hey everyone needs a little bit of tough love in their life not everyone can be nice in this world and i'm, I'm not gonna lie bit dog it's like implying like hey bro not everybody could be a youtuber bit dog fuck it i'm willing to die doing this shit i'm not doing no goofy school thing or like finna uh work like finna work a job to the day i die now I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna be the boogeyman here saying how your podcast sucks and your friends are boring. Maybe you should think twice before you take that trip to Best Buy. See, the problem is that this world is way too nice now. And now we have podcast clips of dudes talking about how they want their mothers to have good sexual experiences. Because I love my mom. I yeah. want her to come. I don't know if this is weird to say. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I know, like, uh, putting your paws on someone else is, like, illegal. That's a crime. That's assault. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. I wish I could punch the fuck out of these niggas, man. I don't care about nothing. I, I, like, it's not like I don't have nothing to lose, but it's like... Wow, man. How many seconds we into this video? Just wear your stupid glasses. 58. Okay. Uh, but I want my mom to have flawless experiences. How do you not know if that's weird to say? Like, oh, oh my gosh. I want my mom to have great sexual Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Bro. I would literally pay like half of my money, bro. Like if I were to make like when I end up making a lot of money, bro, I would literally pay half of my money just to get these niggas in the ring, bro. Fuck it, that, fuck that. We in the streets, my nigga. Bro, one on one, I'm bro. And and hopefully we got a referee over there for me because I might end up like om like just a little bit almost. I might end up almost a little bit if for me removing them permanently from the earth. I just need to put my paws on them, boy. That's it. That is weird. I want you to have that. Yeah, and I want you to have that as well. So it's like, is that weird to say? Really, like, I genuinely... I genuinely... You genuinely what? I'm not going to lie, bro. I wish these things were born, like, uh, somewhere in Africa, like, back then before all these, like, uh, freedom of speech things, bro. I'm not gonna lie, these boys need a beating, bro. I really want my mom to be getting down good. I'm gonna give you some tough love right here, you know? This is gonna be the toughest love that you've ever felt. This bro, do not have no kids, bro. They should not be having no kids, these guys, man. Them kids finna be suffering. This love is gonna be tougher than a well-done steak. You need to stop podcasting, bro. I'm sorry. Never in my life have I ever- Bro, I hope it's not like a, they just clip for me. Even though it's still, it's like, my dog, you don't got nothing else to talk about. Like, or you, know, you can't make better jokes. Like, the only way you could be funny is if you do zesty jokes or, like, uh, you do, like, you talk about shit like that. Come on, man. Never thought about my mom having good sexual experiences. Y'all are just odd human beings. What even sparks this conversation? Like, bro, how the world should just end right now. I ain't gonna lie. It's already like nearing the end with all that this bullshit that's happening, but nah. 
you even get to this point? And why was this video even <sighs> uploaded to the masses, bro? We need to start telling people no more often. You know what, man? I'm thinking about starting a podcast. No, bro, put the mic down. At this point, it needs to be easier to buy an RPG from a gun store than it is to buy a microphone from Best Buy. Because I promise you, if there were background checks for mics, we would be nowhere near this point. It feels like everyone has a podcast nowadays. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone. NBA players, rappers, children. The Hawk Tua girl just started a podcast called Talk Tua. Don't get me wrong. Shout out to her for running up a bag off that one friend. Hey, I ain't even blame her hustle, but you know, I saw that she got 30k for popping out to a club a few weeks ago. Like, kudos to her. You know, I'ma clap it up for her. But why would I want to hear that woman speak for two hours straight each week about current events in her life? I mean, for crying out loud, she got famous for talking about how she spits on the pee pee. Why am I supposed to care about what this woman has to say? Does she really need a podcast for saying "fuck" to and spit on that thing? You get me? The world. I never really got the meme. It's just cringe to me. I don't know. It's probably the accent. I don't know. What could go without a podcast from this woman? You know what? Maybe I'm just hating. You know? Maybe. Well, I am a big hater, bro. I'm a hate, bro. I don't give a fuck. Why don't I just check out one episode? Hey, same time, she shouldn't care what out, what other people are saying. Get their money, girl. You can't do it as good as Do it. You do it. No, you do it. Hot to. <laughs> man, get the porky looking that bitch on my face, man. You, go. you gotta put like an emphasis on it. Like bro, she look like a mixed porky, bro. You do it. No, you do it. Hot to. <laughs> you go. gotta put like an emphasis on it. Like to. You know, like really to. Like, yeah. Say it. All right. All together. Hot to. Hot to. Hot to. Say it aggressive. Like, like hot really to. <sighs> Brother. After watching one episode of the Talk to a Podcast, Brother. I wanted to announce that I am quitting YouTube and becoming a full-time neurosurgeon, astronaut, and monk. Hey, give give me your flow, give me your followers and your views. I will appreciate and receive them with I will I will, I will receive them with, with, with open arms. All because <laughs> of this podcast. This is one of the most enlightening podcasts that I have ever watched, and I just wanted to say thank you, Hawk Tua Girl, <laughs> for opening my third eye and helping me evolve as a human being with your phenomenal podcast. I really appreciate you. All jokes aside, no hate to her. She's just capitalizing off her opportunity like any other human being would in her position. But overall, no. I just don't think there's anything really interesting about this woman that sets her apart from all these other podcasts out there yeah she may be able to get some great guests on there because the podcast is connected to better which is a sports media company co-owned by jake paul but at the end of the day like the guests can only carry her so far you know like i said there's not much interesting about this woman she got famous for saying how she spits on the nutsack you feel me but like i said she's just capitalizing off of a once in a lifetime opportunity podcast after all bro imagine telling my parents uh I blew up from shaking my for shaking my ass on on uh on YouTube, and then with that I blew up and I started making money. That's how my career started. Nah. Nah, man. Oh, aren't the hardest thing to mm -hmm. do? Podcasting is one of those things that I believe is easy to start, but hard to master. The bare minimum is to get a few mics, sit down with some friends, record, chat for a little bit, and boom, you got a podcast. Like, it's not that hard. And if you already have an audience, it makes creating a podcast even easier. Because if the audience you've garnered cares to watch you for like maybe a few- Bro, I just remembered something. It probably, it, it might end up being one person or like no one at all who knows about this podcast. The pull out podcast when uh the one that uh this goofball Steezy Kane was in and then like he left and then he that his other friends like just kept on doing it. Bro, I haven't seen that bro. There was they, they was posting every week. Now it's dead. It's like damn bro. It's kind of sad and funny seems like cause bro the Alejandro, like he's the like the main podcast, like he's the main like co-host of like he's the main host of that podcast, bro. He was always talking about like, bro, he finna be posting every week. He's finna be consistent. Uh, knew him, whatever this and that. He finna be consistent. He finna blow this podcast up. They finna be reaching two hundred k views, this and that. But bro, I'm like, like bro, I just remembered it right now. I'm like, hold on, bro. I haven't seen a podcast from them goofballs in a minute. What the hell happened? It's like, damn, bro. It's sad. It's like, damn, bro. 
I, I don't even know what to say, man. Two seconds or a few Hopefully, like, uh, maybe he's busy with something else. That's the reason. It's not that he gave up about the podcast. Because the problem, like, uh, it's like, F, uh, like, it's effed up. Like, you feel me? Like, you follow a person, like, their content, and then they stop doing their content, and you don't know what the hell they got going on. Are they good? Are they still alive? Because... Even on their social media, so they don't be posting nothing like that. Two minutes each day. They'll for sure listen to you talk for about two hours each week. So it makes sense to why so many people are starting podcasts nowadays. But like the title says, not <laughs> everyone needs one. While some of them are good, some just feel like people talking just to talk. Like I wouldn't even call some people's podcast a podcast. I'd rather call it Mike Terrorism. The other day, <laughs> I saw a podcast clip of two dudes talking about Lefty Lucy Righty Tidy being the greatest invention of all time. Lefty Lucy Righty tidy is the, the craziest invention of man i use that i'm not gonna lie bro i'm a force order i'm a force order homies to get mics we gonna run a podcast bro we gonna get that we gonna get out the hood bro all the time the saying lefty loosey righty tidy we just got a new machine okay. it's like it's it's called an articulating log loop. but it's like hmm well a podcast is you know, supposed to talk about anything it doesn't have to be like hard hitting topics if if y'all talking about is entertaining then it's good it's not bad it's not bad but if y'all talk about something and it's not entertaining then yeah it, it's bad <laughs> yeah what <laughs> sounds like my toilet paper <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a forks like this that picks up then they that nigga was speaking that left, bro. I just, I, was in, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look. Articulating log loader. Yeah, and what? It sounds like my toilet paper. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the funniest person, bro, but that shit was ass. <laughs> There's forks like this that picks up a log, and then it can open and close on it, and the left button opens it, and the right button closes it. And I literally say to myself, I'm like, lefty loosey, righty tighty, when yeah. I need to let go or grab on. It's the lefty Lucy. I might get that tattooed on myself. Like, no offense to these two dudes at all, because they're probably great people. I could probably yeah. sit down, chop it up with them, eat a steak, and just vibe out with these dudes. But there's got to be something way more interesting to talk about than a saying used for when you're screwing something in. Like, what's next? Are we going to talk about bunny ears being the best method to tie your shoes? Ah! Or maybe even schist being the best rock there is? This conversation just feels so bland and pointless. Like, if hey, man. They even next next podcast they finna be talking about like hey, water is actually a good thing, man. Damn, you drink it, it gives you energy. Hmm. Damn water, bro, it's actually good. What type of water do you like? Hmm, I don't like I don't like tap water. I like still water. Well, I like tap water. I don't like still water. <laughs> Hey man, if it works, it works, man. If an alien were to imagine two human beings talking, I'm pretty sure it'd think of this AI generated ass convo right here. Like, this is the product of podcasts being so easy to start up. We now <laughs> have dudes talking about screwing mechanisms as a topic of interest. Like, I don't think every conversation has to be important <sighs> in a podcast, but there is that's, no way. That's why they say, bro, if you're doing a podcast, please write down topics to talk about. Sometimes it's not like, bro, it depends. Not everybody can make something interesting about a certain topic, bro. <sighs> hey, that these dudes copped some premium podcast mics, got the setup and everything just to talk about lefty loosey, righty tighty. This podcast just has no meaning at all. It's just yip and yap going <laughs> back and forth about nothing. I swear these podcasts just get worse and worse, bro. Like, there's just too many podcasts now, and what more is there really to talk about? We gotta sit here and like, just think for a second. What more is there really to talk about? Instead of having to get a degree for a job, people need to start getting a degree for a podcast. Like, let, let's just be real. Like, is there really a need for a podcast where frat dudes talk about Hawk Tua? Bro, I don't know if you heard of the Hawk Tua girl. <laughs> yeah. Hawk Tua! <laughs> Spit on that thing! Yeah. Bro, that blew out out of proportion. Like, I low-key think it got too big. You think? Yeah. I don't even know if I've seen the clip, but... <laughs> good for her i guess i don't know no like it's everywhere dude even at like old town you'll hear hawk Tua remixes really yes bro i i think it's crazy that you can like do one little thing and a clip can go viral and then all of a sudden the next day you're like a celebrity you know what I mean? yeah. like that's
That's crazy. Yo, this guy in the comment section even gets it. This man said podcast equipment should cost $1 billion. <laughs> I totally agree. I'm not gonna lie. Like, no offense to these dudes. They're probably some great people. But I'd rather drag my balls through the hot Sahara Desert than listen to these frat dudes talk for two hours straight. Hey, you yo. best believe I'm serving a life sentence before I listen to Jimmy and Tom from the Beta Theta Sigma frat talk on a podcast for two hours. Like, this podcast is just drier than a Popeye's biscuit. There is no energy at all to this conversation. And you may be thinking, like, bro, you can't judge off of just one clip of the podcast, you know? This is every clip. What is... Oh, no. <laughs> What's your favorite frat? I don't know. I like how big SAE's parties are and, like, yeah. Lambda. But, like, I think ASIG just threw a really cool party. So oh, I, think, I heard, dude. Yeah, uh-huh. Kyle was just on it. He's an ASIG. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a That's really dope. good party. This podcast just sucks. This convo just... Damn, bro. Fucking hell, man. Bro. Man, I thought I was lame as hell, but, man, these goofballs got it. It's like, bro, it's like they got a gun up. Like, it's like they got a gun to him. Like, bro, speak about, speak about something or talk to this girl about something. Nah, bro. Party, so oh, I, I heard, dude. Yeah, uh-huh. Kyle was just on. He's an AC. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bro, cringe, bro. It was a That's really dope. good party. <sighs> this podcast just sucks. This convo just sounds. Hey, we promoting it, though. You feel me? Or he's promoting it. Uh, putting in the the their clip in in on this thing because people gonna be like, okay, let me go see for myself, and they they might end up liking the podcast. So generic and bland, no energy at all. Just um, what's your favorite frat? I like ah! SAA. They're bag. Oh my god, I heard cows there. Like, get this <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it's not like at the same time. It's like we don't want them to fake their reaction or like fake like level. Like, oh yeah, for, oh. I just remember something. One of the homies, uh, they in that frat too. It's like if you're not if you're not a master faker, like some 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 other goofballs be doing. Hey man, hey. off the airways, bruh. Like what did Joe Budden say? That shit is that two pack of ass. I genuinely wish I could take back the few seconds of my life I wasted watching that podcast clip because now I just feel 10x dumber than what I was before. I feel like one of the keys to a great podcast is an entertaining host because there's going to be boring parts to a podcast mm. and it's up to the host to make that podcast interesting when it's getting dry. But the problem with this podcast is that the host has the personality of a raw wow. chicken wing. So okay, come on, bro. You ain't had to do him like that. But he talks about... <laughs> Said he, bro, he was talking about like he trying to be disrespectful. Boy, why he cooking him like that? Boring topics, and he's also boring. That just makes the podcast. Oh come on, bro, he's not boring, bro. If you found his clips, it, it, some people probably like them, man, or like they like the and podcast. times more boring. Another problem with everyone starting a podcast is that some people don't believe that they need to do proper research before they record. Like a little bit ago on Twitch, there was this streamer named Jason the Ween who hit 100,000 subscribers, you know? He was number two on Twitch for his amount of subscribers in that month. And then there was this shitty TikTok podcast called the 949 Podcast that decided to give their opinion on the whole situation. And no, they're not really knowledgeable when it comes to this whole streaming space so this was their take yeah, streaming I, is the new wave it's it is yeah it's just but the thing is it's the new wave because of clips exactly exactly like jason the ween he guess how many live viewers he has just guess depends on the time just guess. Yeah, guess like you guys 5k guess. Well, how many live viewers do you think he got like I don't like really 3k know. I don't know 3k the so like he's like a number two, or I guess like, yeah. well, he has like around fifteen to twenty. Oh, oh wow, you know that's but pretty good. But think about it, like that's not that good in terms of like views. That's true. I feel like, huh? What is he? <laughs> Bro, live views and uh. YouTube views do not correlate. What is he talking? I don't even know. I'm probably chatting too. Because I'm... I, I, <laughs> live it's good for live. live. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's good for live, but think about the people in the world. 
It's only 15k. 15 K, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Streaming is not like a mainstream thing big, yet. Big, it's only yeah. mainstream because of the clips that they put out after. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. which get millions and millions of views. Right. right. But no one's actually watching that shit live. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, literally, bro. Nobody's watching that shit live, bro. You got 20k, bro. You got th he got 20. I'm gonna chill out, bro. He, he just chat. He just hating. He just chat. There's a few things that piss me off about this Dookie TikTok podcast. Number one, this man is saying streaming is only big because of clips. Yeah, because nobody's gonna sit there and watch an eight hour stream front to back, you fing idiot. So, to make it more digestible for the average viewer, streamers and their audiences make clips so that more people can see their streams. What's so bad about that? Another thing this man says is 15k live viewers isn't good views because the clips get millions of views. That's how the internet that works and 15k is good because it puts him in the top 0.1% of streamers like why is it surprising that a live stream has less views than a TikTok video are we becoming this slow in society bro, I, is it goof bro he knows everybody can get a, a, a thousand views on bro this goof Paul is, is explaining everything I'm, I'm, I'm getting mad about better than i could do i'm just here for the last bit though where we can't comprehend that a live stream that you have to watch live has less views than a video where you can watch whenever this dude knows nothing about what he's talking about he's just saying a hot take because he has a mic in his face with the cameras on this podcast just sounds like one huge gossip session that's a he thought he that nigga because there's bitches around, bro. That's why he talking about With there, a lot bro. of these podcasts, some of them are just gossip sessions. Another situation of a podcast host not knowing what they're talking about is this one right here. So a little bit ago, there's a situation with Kai Sanat, right? He had a cameraman that was talking to an underage girl. And this podcast decided to put out their take on it because, hey, it was a fresh topic. Why don't we say something about it, you know? Why don't we mm. do it for the clicks and engagement? And this is what they had to say. Kai Sanat, everybody can't go. This you need to start part, looking around. And I know, like, black people specifically, when you get some success, you want to bring everybody with you. But you got to be able to kind of weed that shit out. Right. I shouldn't know who Chris V is. I shouldn't know who Chris Next Door is. But Chris Next Door. Chris Next Door, get up. Bro, these boys got me out here saying something in, in, in my... In, in one of the... Let me just say in my home language, bro. Like, in my, in my native language. What is he talking about? I, I, what I said is that how does Chris next door get into all of this? Why why you just drag Chris, bro? Why did he just drag Chris, Chris next door into this? He's literally an AMP member. What do you mean that you shouldn't know who he is? I huh? shouldn't know who Kai Sinat is because you are the driving force in it, but them I shouldn't even know who they are. I think it's important to highlight that Chris Next Door is an AMP member. If you right. guys don't know what AMP is, that is Kai Sinat's group. That's the problem. Kai Sinat shouldn't have a group. Kai Sinat joined the group before he became this ah! huge mega streaming machine. This dude knows nothing about what he's talking about. He's just saying a hot take because. He and I know for a fact, bro, they older than me. They got responsibilities. They are someone's pillar of strength. Hey, bro, to the people who are like who are family members of those guys and they depend on them hey man god bless y'all boy man god protect y'all because th these niggas are retarded bro what are they talking about man they literally just hating on what the hell did chris, chris next door do what you mean there's no need for you to know him He's on a podcast. That's how they got on. Yeah. Having a team and making it with your team is very important. But, but if there are problematic people in there, kick them out immediately. But yes. you got to know when you are the one, like he is the one. I get it. So he cool. should abandon everybody? Yes. He did not do this alone. Like there was a journey of a camp of they them. They came together. And I agree. Like this problematic person, this person that was underage girls, he has to go. He yeah. like, bye. We're never speaking to you. Cut ties. Now that we are here and it's the second, third, however many times something like this has happened. What does he do moving forward? Because now it's, it can't keep happening mm -hmm. you have to insulate yourself because at the end of the day that group doesn't mean anything without him that is cap because you crazy as hell big dog everyone actually grew themselves before they were in amp that's Shut. why it works so well as a group because everyone had their own platform before joining except for chris he kind of created his platform after but he was still pretty known but this guy just knows nothing about what he's talking about and this might like i said big dog it's 2024 bro everybody let's just do it let's let bro let, let's it, bro everybody should do youtube and podcast or whatever because it's like fuck it bro f it man well i do hate like when people bunch me up in like in the same group 
it's like like when when other people talk about like bro there's like lame reactors or people who don't be reacting to videos or like literally don't say nothing at all i hate being bunched up with them niggas because bro they like because there's some goofballs that generalize all reactors they see that uh the only thing we do is just be up in a corner play the video so play the video <laughs> oh damn that funny as hell <laughs> oh nah really bro they seen that's how that's how all of us react i'm like bro i even know myself that i have a problem that i'll be chatting too much what do they mean all reactors are the same it's like <sighs> It's like you know what, bro? Is it, it is what it is, bro? I don't care what they say, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna still continue doing this reaction shit until they say, uh, reaction content is not allowed. I'm gonna keep on doing this, cause, bro, I'm niggas, bro. And the same goofball talking about like, oh, some reactors are like all reactors don't know how to do reaction videos. When we, when we ask that goofball to do a reaction video, I know for a funny fact, bro. I ain't trying to for me suck on my dick too much. I know I can make a better reaction than that goofball or them goofballs, bro. But, but except for Chris, he kind of created his platform after, but he was still pretty known. But this guy just knows nothing about what he's talking about, and this is my problem with so many of these podcasts. Like, if you're gonna put out a statement on any current topic, you got to do the research to back it up. You're gonna end up looking like an idiot. You can't just yep. Considering my stupid ass, uh, for me, I do. I, I be forgetting a lot of things. That's why I do not have a serious like channel where I talk about current topics. I do want to have it, <laughs> but the problem, oh man, they they finna take a clip, they finna make a clip out of me saying some stupid shit without ever doing the research and put it in the same cat and bunch me up with them other goofballs that be seeing wilder shit. It's just that in that in particular in that particular moment, it's either I was making a joke or I was being sarcastic. But some people not gonna understand that, so it's like. Ah, hey man, I'm gonna stick to reacting. I'm gonna stick to reacting, bro. It may be in the future. Go in willy nilly on something that you know nothing about. That's why a lot of bigger podcasts like Joe Rogan have someone who can fact check, which is Jamie on his podcast. And if you can't afford someone to be in that spot, you should just look it up yourself before you put out this idiotic take on something you know nothing about. Like, there's a difference between. Now, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I think them goofballs that were talking about righty tighty lefty Lucy, bro. Hey, we should. I think we shouldn't clown them too much, cause they better, bro. They just talking about for me the most simplest things or like the most common knowledge, whatever. At least they're not out here just hating on people and just spreading some false information. I'm not gonna lie, that's better, bro. Hey, we. I think yeah, I think we shouldn't clown them that that much, bro, cause this is ridiculous. Goofballs talking about like they want their parents to have. The, yo, 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 yo. yo, man. God save us all, cause this is ridiculous, man. I'm not gonna say I'm the um like I'm not saying this cause I, I'm I'm out here trying to be like I'm the best person. Oh, I do not commit sin, but bro, I I, I know for any fact in my life I've never thought about like a hot take and just a bad and uneducated take and this wow. right here is what i consider an uneducated take because he just lacks the knowledge on what he's talking about i like how some people on the podcast are like trying to tell him like yo it's not like this it's kind of like this but he just doesn't want to listen he just decides to be ignorant i swear some people just get a mic in their face and their brains just go to bush <sighs> they don't know what they're talking about i seen a dude the other day talking about how you need to stop wearing nike socks with shoes for no reason at all just because he said so. Stop wearing Nike socks with shoes, bro. Or um, a designer shoe. Even if you wear Nike socks with some Air Force Ones, just stop doing that, bro. I, I'm sorry, bro. I just can't see nobody wearing no Nike socks. This goof boy just said us black people a thousand years. What the fuck is wrong with Nike shoes? Nike socks. With a pair of shoes, bro. Like, what are you doing? My, I think that's crazy. What are your socks? Yeah, my nigga, opinion, some some of them, I think you should just swallow that shit and just die with it, bro. What is he talking about? Does have to do with anything on your fit? I understand if somebody says stop wearing a Nike shirt with Adidas pants, like, that does kind of make sense. But stop wearing Nike socks with shoes? Why? Why, why don't you tell us why? why i think people got to realize it's fine to have conversations without them being recorded you know we need to start stripping cameras and microphones <laughs> away from society everyone has a voice but not everyone's voice needs to be heard i'm not gonna lie bro the creation of the internet uh it brought that down that the uprise wait hmm? 
the downfall and the uprising. I don't know. I don't know what's the opposite of downfall. Like you know, what I'm trying to say, man, it, it it came with disadvantages and advantages, man. It's like damn. And this is, is a video about podcasts. There's another thing I gotta get on my chest, bro. Alpha male podcast. This podcast format. I'm I'm not gonna yeah, 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 yeah. This is where I draw the line. I'm gonna see you in this video, bro. Uh, uh, please leave a like for me. <laughs> Honestly, hold on, hold on. Just needs to retire, bro. Like when I I'm not trying to hear this, bro. These podcasts are just goofy, bro. I tell you, these podcasts are one of the worst things to ever hit the internet. Because after these podcasts hit, all people would argue about is who was worse, women or men. I hate this whole argument because can we all just agree that men do bad things and so <sighs> do women? Men lie and women lie. Bro, people need to start need to start talking like this. Some men are effed up. Some women are effed up. Add the word some. Do not say all of them, man. Like, damn. Are we done now? Like, I hate this whole format of podcast. But yeah, not everyone should have a podcast. Don't just think because you have one good conversation with your homie that you now need this full Joe Rogan podcast setup. No, you don't need that at all. Fuck it. I'm gonna have a podcast too. They having podcasts too. I'm gonna have a podcast too. I'm gonna be talking. I'm gonna have a podcast where we, like I talk with the homies about anything. We finna be out here talking about like how to uh uh properly wash our balls because some of y'all be smelling, bro. Man, come on. I know it's summer right now. Over here, it's hot as hell, but nah, bro. Two times, bro. Bath two times a day, man. And, like, especially if you're at the crib, you can just, like, if you feel like your balls are musty a little bit, you go to the bathroom, bro, and just discipline your balls. That's it. And then continue with the rest of your day, chilling at the crib, whatever. Like, come on, bro. You don't even need a podcast, bro. What you need is a muzzle. But all that being said, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made this far, I... Hey, man. Just, just please leave a like for me, man. That's all I ask for or plead for. Subscribing is up to you. And yeah. Just another day of living on this planet, man. <sighs> Call me Mascazangas, I'm a flippy bass.